Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash routine video on how I get ready when I want to make minimal effort for my makeup and I want to look more natural. So I guess you could say this is a no makeup makeup look aside from the lashes. You guys are always asking for natural makeup looks and this is how to basically revive yourself after feeling not so great as well. This is basically the routine that I would use if I don't want to make a lot of effort for my makeup but I want to look good still. So if you guys are interested then just keep on watching. So guys, as you can see, I am looking a little worse for wear. I actually landed back in the UK the day before this, so I'm looking jet lagged. My skin and hair is just needing such a revival. So I'm gonna pamper myself a little bit before we add a bit of makeup on to make me look a little bit more alive. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna tie my hair up. It's so dry at the moment, but we're gonna deal with that later. I'm gonna be taking my Glam Glow Super Cleanse and I'm gonna be using this as my cleanser. This is a great cleanser for when my skin is feeling really like in need of a revival especially because my skin has been breaking out from all of the flights and everything my skin always breaks out on flights this is a really great cleanser to help deal with that when my skin is breaking out my first go-to is to use a clay cleanser and this cleanser does have mediterranean clay in it so this is really going to help to minimize the size of any breakouts that i have i'm just going to be applying it all over on dry skin and i remove it with a hot flannel so once my skin has been cleansed i'm going to go ahead and apply a face mask and i am going to be using the glam glow super mud which which is a great clay mask which is really going to help with a lot of my breakouts. This one is great because it literally draws the impurities out of your skin. So this is great as well when my pores are feeling really clogged up. If you need to draw out the impurities from your skin, this is the mask to go for. So I just applied this all over and allowed it to sit and dry before removing it again with a hot flannel. So you gotta do the mask dance, leave it for 10 to 20 minutes, and I'm gonna actually apply a hair mask whilst that dried and I removed it. So after removing that off my skin, I'm gonna be taking the new Glam Glow Super Toner Exfoliating Acid Solution. You guys know I absolutely love an acid. I definitely do use acids on a regular basis, but I find them specifically important when my skin is breaking out or my pores are clogged. This really does help to exfoliate the skin and really break down down what's in the pores and I just find this so important to really get that glow to my skin back and I just find this so necessary in my routine. This typically works the best for normal to combination skin which makes it perfect for my skin type. Not only does this have a six acid blend but it also contains charcoal, it's paraben free, oil free and you get a lot of product for the price which I absolutely love. Next up I'm going to be taking the Glam Glow Super Serum and this is also new to this super range from Glam Glow. This is really great because it has charcoal which which also helps to keep the skin nice and clear, but it also has hyaluronic acid, which we know is great for hydration. It's really great to help plump out any fine lines, just help with dehydration, and it's gonna make a great base for underneath my makeup. So guys, that is the end of the skincare portion. Honestly, my skin is glowing at this point, and it really, really helped with everything. Just a little FYI too, there will be a 20% off code for Glam Glow down in the description, so if you're interested, then definitely check that out. In this makeup look, I really wanna keep everything as minimal as possible, so I took the Rimmel BB cream, which you guys know I already love. This also has SPF and it just generally makes me have a really nice glowy but natural looking complexion. It basically is just my skin but with a tint and I just went ahead and plucked some of my straight eyebrow hairs because <laughs> I have been neglecting them a little bit recently especially since traveling so I needed to pluck them a little bit even though I am going to be going for a little bit of a fuller look today um, I took a little bit of foundation and just put it on the areas where I felt like I needed a little bit of coverage so on the cheek areas and also just areas where I get a little bit oilier and then I also just took some concealer and applied it underneath my eyes this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer which is a really nice fuller coverage and I definitely feel like when I want to go for something a little bit more natural I tend to go for a little bit more of a fuller coverage concealer because I find that this makes my skin look way more put together um, without having to have a ton of coverage everywhere else and because my skin does get oily I just want to make sure to set this into place so I just took some loose powder and used it on the areas where I felt like it was necessary. Next up for a really natural glow I'm going to be taking the Benefit Bronze Squad palette and I'm going to be mixing together Hoola and also Hoola Caramel and just using this with a big fluffy brush all along the outer perimeter of my face. I find that this really helps to create a really natural looking glow rather than using a small precise brush. I really love to use a big powder brush because I just find that it gives me that natural color without looking like there's actual makeup on my skin. And I just love the way this looks and I just think it looks so natural. 
For my blush, I'm going to be mixing together these two shades from the palette and just using it on the apples of my cheeks and then taking the Fenty Beauty, which is a little tiny size of Hustler Baby, which I got from Sephora in the US. How cute is this? Honestly, I love this. I'm applying it onto the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, on the top of my eyebrow, my chin, and also my upper lip. And I'm just using some of the colors from that palette to contour my nose a little bit, nothing too crazy, just because, again, I don't have much going on on my skin as far as coverage, so I'm not gonna be able to contour my nose exactly the same, but I just use some highlight on those areas, like the tip of my nose and my inner corner too, just to create that really natural, no makeup glow effect. For my eyebrows I'm going to be running them through with my Benefit 24 hour clear brow gel and I love this because this keeps your eyebrows down like glue and this is coming from someone that has really curly eyebrow hairs it's really annoying. I like to apply this first of all and just allow this to set and whilst I'm allowing that to set I'm going to be taking my mascara and just applying it onto my lashes. Now if you're actually going for that no makeup makeup look um, you can definitely leave it at this but you guys know I love my lashes and I also love my lashes to have the effect that individual lashes do if that makes sense. So I like to have like really wispy looking lashes um, and I just personally feel like it adds that look to my face that I really want. So even though I don't have individual lashes, I like to create that kind of effect using strip lashes. So I'm just gonna let my mascara set. I kind of just use my fingers to push them upwards a little bit. And then I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Brow, I, I, I always forget the name of this. I think it's called the Brow Blade, I think. Um, but it has a pen side and I really like to use this to create the look of fake brow hairs. Um, so I'm just kind of using the pen to flick it. Um, I kind of went about out of focus here, sorry about that. But I'm literally just going in the same direction that my hair is naturally growing in because that's the direction that I set my brows. I really want to do a tutorial on how I get really full fluffy brows so don't worry that video should be coming soon. I know it's a little bit out of focus at this point but I'm just using the pen side to do that and then I take the pencil side and just run it along the bottom portion of my brow just to give it a little bit more fullness and to make my brow shape a little bit straighter because I personally like the look of a straighter looking brow. And then I'm just going back in with the pen and just going in with some extra brow strokes just to make it look naturally very, very fluffy. Next up, I'm going to be applying my lashes finally. I am taking the Coco Queen Bee lashes. You guys know I love this. And I'm actually applying my lashes a little bit more turned upwards. I really like to do this because it really turns the eyes upwards. And then I just fill the little gap using a bit of eyeliner. Um, I love to do this. I do this all the time and it really helps to just turn the eyes upwards. And I'm just applying some setting spray to help my face look a little bit glowier and then I am going to wash my hair off camera make it curly you guys have already seen my curly hair tutorial but I'll leave it linked in the eye if you guys are interested in how I do my natural curls and then I'm going to be doing a very simple lip look I'm just taking a lip liner that is close to my lip color just a little bit darker and this is Rimmel Cappuccino and then I am taking Fenty Beauty gloss bomb this is just a really nice peachy color and I really really love this just to make my lips look naturally plump and glossy. I just love this for this no makeup makeup look. I think it's perfect. And then to finish off, I'm just going to be applying some fake freckles using my eyebrow pencil. You guys can skip this if you don't like the look of fake freckles. I personally think they are so cute. So I'm going to be applying some. And then I also used the pen side to go over my natural mole that's on the side of my lip and also create a fake one over a little spot that I have. So guys, this is my literal like five to 10 minute makeup routine. This really doesn't take long at all, but the skincare and everything is perfect for when you're just needing a little bit of a revival and also just going for something a little bit more on the natural side and more focused on looking like yourself, but just new and improved if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I upload every Monday most of the time <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.